Yo, 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 what up? This is Scoozy. I'm back with another episode of How to Play Minecraft. And uh, my standard disclaimer is going to be that this is not an all encompassing how to play Minecraft guide. These are just uh, tips and tricks for the beginner. Uh, there is no one way to play this game. It is. Um, there's a skeleton there. <laughs> He'll die soon. Uh, there is a million different ways to play it, um, as many different ways as there are players. So. This is just some uh, tips and tricks to get you started. Not an oh, are we gonna die here? Whoo, barely survived. Um, so yeah, on today's episode, this is uh, basically the morning after the first night, and uh, we have our little kind of starter base here. Uh, and yeah. I guess we're going to go ahead and make ourselves some uh, more armor. So we'll do that to make the uh, helmet. We already have our boots. These are pants here. And we don't have quite enough for a chest plate, uh, but that's okay. This will still provide us quite a bit of armor. Uh, and then we'll probably just make ourselves a sword so that if we ever run into a skeleton again, we won't have to use our pickaxe. Um, alright, so today's episode, we are going to work on getting some food on, uh, into our bellies. We have these five cooked pork chops, but, um, that's not going to last us a whole long time. Alright, he finally decided to eat that. Uh, so we're going to head out here, uh, sword in hand. Uh, although it is day, because of these, um... All these trees kind of blocking the sun. Mobs can survive. Um, so yeah, you want to punch some grass and see these, you get seeds. Uh, these seeds, although you get them from grass, will grow um, wheat. And seeds and wheat are important. Um, a, a, you can make bread, which I guess is good but it's not a very uh, effective source of feeding you. Um, but you can use the seeds to attract and breed chickens, and you can use hay to attract and breed uh, cows. Um, and those really are uh, two of your best kind of uh, animals that if you're gonna farm uh, animals, to do those because the cows uh, they provide a really good meat uh, meat which will uh, you know it, it fills what are you doing up here you tree pig it fills your um, your hunger bar three spots uh, but it, it it will keep them full longer if that makes any sense oh we got a melon here Um, yeah, so, so basically, like, see these pork chops, I ate one not too long ago, and they'll fill up three, two, three food holes, but, uh, but, uh, it doesn't last nearly as long, it doesn't keep you as satiated, um, so that's one thing to take into account, uh, chickens, they're not as good at keeping you full, um, but you also get eggs from them, so they're very easy to breed, uh, and in fact, if you keep them in a pen, they will multiply without your your intervention. Um, oh, yeah, sorry, and cows, uh, as, as, aside from the good meat that they give you, they also drop leather, um, which is a fairly important material uh, as far as the enchantments go. You'll need it to make books and whatnot. Um, also, you can uh, get milk from cows. And milk can provide a bit of food sustenance, but its main purpose is to uh, cure poisoning and potion effects, um, which is not necessarily important super early on, but uh, it's just something to remember. So there's three things you can get from the cows. Um, and from chickens, you can get meat, eggs to make new chickens, and also um, feathers, which you, can, you need to make arrows. Uh, so, it I don't know. In my in my opinion, those 
that that makes those the two best animals. Um, pigs, you get pork chops. <laughs> that is all. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if we're gonna have access to cows or chickens in the jungle. I've never really lived in the jungle, but uh, we'll see, I guess. Um, oh, I can hear bad guys. Uh, okay, it's getting a little close to night, so I'm definitely going to head back to uh, towards base before we get caught out here. Uh, I can see the light in the distance there because we put the torch above the door. It's also helpful to use your F3 screen, this one, to mark down your coordinates uh, of your base. That way if you do wander off too far, chasing a pig or whatever, uh, you'll be able to find your way home. Um, yeah, so before I pop inside, I am going to dig up some dirt. Uh, and this day wasn't really this short. I kind of, uh, the last episode uh, ended off partway into the day. Um, and I'm just kind of playing this straight through. Uh, I don't know how much off-camera stuff I'll do. Um, so yeah, you're kind of seeing it all as it happens. So in here we're going to go ahead and put in our 13 raw pork chops. Um, and I got some dirt, 15. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm actually going to dig out a little farm area in here. Why not? And this way we can do all of our farming, uh, night or day, in complete safety from bad guys. Um, so you can't plant seeds directly into dirt. You'll need a tool. Uh, which is the trusty hoe. Um, I'll just grab all this for now. We need to make some sticks for the handle. And then a hoe is just two. I'm going to make stone. Um, don't worry about ever making an iron, an iron hoe. You would need to be doing an awful lot of farming to need the durability of an iron hoe. Uh, I'm going to pop this iron in there so we don't lose it. Uh, we don't have a bow yet so I'm going to put these arrows in there. Poppies, you can use those to make dye or plant them if you know, you're know you into that kind of thing. Bone meal, we'll use that in a minute. Okay, that's cooking up. So you basically uh, right click on a dirt square to till it. And these can become untilled if you walk on them too much. Sometimes you only have to touch them like a little bit. Sometimes you can walk all over them, but see there? Sometimes it just happens randomly whether you're touching it or not. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, it just seems to be fairly random. So I'm going to plant our five seeds there. And those will grow into hay. Um, and yeah, that hay can be used to make... Uh, or that wheat can be used to make bread or breed animals. Um, so if you put a melon slice, you'll get uh, melon seeds. So I'm going to get a couple of those, let's say three. And over here, I'm going to do that. And those are going to grow melons. And uh, for this to work, I can't really grow anything on either side. They need space because this will grow a little plant and then the melon will pop off on one side or the other. Uh, but there, we got our little starter farm started. Um, yeah, nighttime. Um, yeah, so basically, um, if you start somewhere that's not a jungle, uh, what you might want to do on one of your first nights is. Uh, or first, one of your second days, I guess I should say, is try to trap some animals so that once your hay is ready, uh, you can breed them up pretty quickly because you're going to want to get like kind of a um, a stock uh, of, of animals going that you can then breed and then only um, raise and kill the offspring. 
that way you don't ever have to start from square one. I think that probably probably makes sense. It's probably pretty obvious to most people, but just in case, um, that's that's the whole reason <laughs> the domestication of animals started in the first place was to prevent having to hunt. So um, what I just did there was I took my bones and I put them into a crafting uh, square and they become bone meal and you can use bone meal as a fertilizer. Um, so like if you were to go out your first couple of nights and fight mobs, which we could we could do now, we're, we're pretty armored up, uh, we have a weapon. Um, anyways, you kill skeletons, get their bones and use their bone meal, you can rush your, your first couple crops. Um, which is kind of nice because otherwise it takes takes a bit to grow. Mm, see if there's any skeletons just really close by. Doesn't appear to be. But um, yeah, so that's basically what you want to do to uh, to get your your food supplies uh, started. Um, you want to go around in the day and forage, uh, get the animals that you can you can get killed for meat because that's really your best food source. Um, collect any kind of vegetables, uh, melons, pumpkins, you can you can end up eating all of that stuff. Uh, but the melons, like I said, um, they're, they're not great, but you can get them in fairly large quantities fairly easy. Um, like I found two melons there and I could plant uh, like 15 new uh, melon plants from those. So yeah, the growth is pretty exponential as long as you have space. Um, if you're going to be doing it outside, I would suggest making some fences. And um, so let's just show you real quick. Um, yeah, so like that in your two fence posts. Oh, and there you have three three fences. Um, and then you're gonna want to make, um, uh, are you kidding? We were one one stick short. Oh, I can't place today. Yeah, uh, a, a gate, and the gate is obviously where you'll go through. Uh, you just right click it to open, right click it to close, and this will just keep uh, mobs from walking around over your crops. Because as I said, um, if I were to go running right here over these and over these, you could destroy them. So yeah, you just you would just fence it in if you're outside. But where we are in here, we're the only ones we have to worry about, and I'm not going to walk on it, so I'm good. Um, yeah, I'll give you some more tips as time goes on about food and how to secure a more regular, steady source. Because you don't want to spend the majority of your time uh, farming, unless you do. <laughs> if that's the game you want to play, then by all means, uh, go super elaborate and there's all kinds of things you can collect and plant. Potatoes, carrots, beets, um, pumpkins, uh, melons, I'm sure I'm forgetting a few. Um, but yeah, for those of you who are only going to be eating because you need to eat, uh, I'm going to show you some tricks on how to uh, automate your system so that you don't have to pay as much attention to it and the food just kind of happens uh, but that'll be for some future episodes and I think for today this is going to be it I'm going to try to keep the episodes in this series a little shorter and more direct um, the first episode was a little long uh, but that was just the first episode it's the first day there's a lot to do <laughs> um, but yeah from this point on I'm just going to kind of break it down into small tasks short episodes and we'll see how that goes so Thanks for coming and hang out today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you learned a lot. And if you did, uh, please uh, support me. Give me a little thumbs up and let me know that you enjoyed the video and it was something that helped you out with your game. And uh, if you want to see more, subscribe because I'll be back with more videos in how to play Minecraft. All right, till next time, this is Scoozy saying thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>